My name is Roberto Romanello. I was born in Wales, um, in the town of Gosain and Swansea. My parents ended up in Gosain and Swansea because uh, my dad, when he was about nine, ten years of age, came there for work and um, ended up living there. But we always go back to Italy to see all the family. We have all everybody there, and we try and get back there two, three times a year, which I, I enjoy doing. I only found poker five years ago when I had a nasty accident playing football. Broke my leg very badly, my right leg. Then become, all of a sudden, within two years, I become a professional poker player. So here I am, traveling around the world and um, trying to win some more major titles. As far as poker goes, I've played more or less everywhere around the world now. I um, have a lot of experience and um, I'm here in Venice and um, it's been an amazing trip, you know. Um, I had a deep run here at the WPT Venice. You know, the Italians, they like to have fun at the table, which, you know, I'm full, full blood Italian. Um, Napoletane, from um, a, t a small town in Morcone, it's near Benevento. As much as the Italians love having fun at the tables, um, I do as well, so it's been a great experience. We've had some, some fun and played some big pots. I look forward to coming to Italy to play a lot more. I, when I broke my leg, I started to play for fun um, with friends and, and family back home. Um, just for like five, ten pounds, like five, ten euros a game. And then started to win and realized that maybe I could do some, something more with this. And then I think it was within one year I was playing on the professional scene. And then I got signed up um, by Full Tilt three years ago. Um, that was the start of my career um, when I started to have a good run. For everybody out there, all you Italians who love poker, you know, it's not all easy. Um, I say Italians, I mean everybody in general, anybody around the world. Um, I played for two years, I, I made a lot of final tables, but I couldn't crack down a major event um, very hard. Um, but then experience brought me through. I used my experience from a lot of my final tables to finally crack one in a uh, big EPT event with a big field in Prague last year. Um, very emotional day for me because I let everything go, you know. Um, when I won that, that was more or less felt like the best day of my life. I achieved something that I felt that I've been trying to do for a long time. And then straight after, within two months, I go and win a WPT in Bratislava. Um, and then everything came from there, really. I won like a big poker poker lounge series on TV. I won the European Open before my wins. So I've had a good run and um, I've had some deep runs and won some, some good side events at the EPTs as well. So hopefully there's a lot more to come and um, you'll see a lot more of me. That's, that's what I hope anyway. On for the Triple Crown now that I have a, an EPT and a WPT. Um, I've come close with two final tables at the WSOPE twice um, for a triple crown but um, it's very tough you know but um, hopefully I can crack that that would be an amazing accomplishment if I can do that so yeah um, that's what I'm really looking forward to is um, a triple crown yeah um, I didn't do too much crazy things here because the Italians like they crazy they don't fold much or whatever like if I'm like Four, five, six bet, then usually it's against a very good player. I didn't do too much of the crazy betting with, with the Italians here in Venice, but um, I think I had like one four bet, but that is as far as I went. But like, if, you, if I'm on a table with a lot of good players, it does get, you know, a little bit crazy and we're all testing each other to the limits. The Italians are crazy enough, there's no need to get too clever with them, you know? But um, I've enjoyed the trip, it's been amazing and um, I'm looking forward to coming back and playing a lot more with them. I used to be big trash talker when I first started, you know, because um, I used to play with a lot of crazy players and um, coming back here to Italy sort of like brought out my trash talk and, um, you know, I really enjoyed it. I, I seem sometimes to, to do well when I use my trash talk, but um, it depends who's on the table, you know. They have to be some crazy players on the table. If, if you start hearing me trash talking, it means that there's some, there's, some, there's some crazy Italians or crazy players on the table and um, that's what's happened here in, in Venice and um, I've enjoyed it all, it's been good. 
Um, shame that I didn't make the final table, just missed out on that. But um, sometimes in poker, you know, it doesn't matter how good you are or you think if you if you're a, you're a huge stack, it doesn't it doesn't mean that you're going to win. You know, things have to go your way, and um, it wasn't to be my tournament here. But um, I'm looking forward to coming back very soon and playing lots more in Italy. It's funny, like, because in the house, um, we always, like, my mother and father speak Italian in the house every day. So, like, I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm definitely, I feel Italian inside, you know, through and through. Italian blood, I got full Italian blood. And um, when Italy play in the World Cup, um, my house is, like, crazy. It's, like, it's... Every, only thing I think about is Italy winning and um, I love going back home to see my, my everybody back home in Italy, all the family and um, we're a very very close Italian family, my mother she cooks every day for us the best pasta and I get, we're very very spoiled but then at the same time when I play poker I was born in Wales and um, I'd grown up back in the UK so when I, I feel and I'm always with my I travel with the UK boys, so I feel I have to like sort of represent Wales as well, um, the UK, because that's what I've grown up, and that's the people that I'm with every day. But um, I'll never, I always have that huge Italian heart, and um, I think that's what makes me a good player. Um, yeah, sangue italiano, <laughs> sicuro. Ciao amici, te asso poca. Ci vediamo post prossimo torneo.